Hello, welcome back to the Left in the Past, and today I'm at Sumac Cumberland Presbyterian Cemetery, and there's a nice mountain view over there that you can see. So that mountain, that mountain that you actually see right there in front of you is Grassy Mountain, I believe. The mountain way off back there, if you can see that, that is Fort Mountain. But I came here just to do a little walkthrough. I'm here with my dad today. If you have not checked out his channel, definitely go do so. His channel is called Shadows Past. I'll link that in the description below. But this right here is Sumac Cumberland Presbyterian Church. And right next to it, as you can see, there is a cemetery. And they have a nice brick wall right here. And the wind's blowing a little bit, so if it's a tad bit hard to hear, that's why I'm sorry about that. But they have a nice brick wall that you can see right here, or stone wall. And they actually have a road that actually drives all the way around the cemetery. If you ever come visit here, you can go like all the way around it. And there's some other graves way over there that I can show off. That I'll show off later in the video. And if you can see, there's, I don't believe I can see that, but there's a sign right down there at the end of the road at the curve. And that's actually a prayer trail that you can go down and walk, which is nice. And they have a little staircase right here that you can walk up. But me and my dad came here to make a video today, a little walkthrough, just to kind of show off the old, older graves here. And this is where dad is, I believe it's my great, great grandpa that's buried here. Yeah, it's my great, great grandpa. His great grandpa actually did a video of his grave so if y'all haven't checked that out definitely go do so i'll link it in a card above but i'm just going to show off a little bit of the older graves here cemetery is like way up on a hill up here as you can see it's right off um, 225 right down there that's 225. Is this the grave that you was talking about? What was the story of that one again? I forgot. passed away from a tree. I believe a tree fell on him or something like that. I couldn't find out a lot of details. It just says that he was killed by a tree. Okay. He could have been a or something. If you didn't hear what he just said, I'll go try and find the grave later of John Dill. But he actually passed away from a tree. We're not really sure exactly how he um, died by a tree. He could have been a logger. We're maybe thinking looks like uh, Matty, um, Matty Shelton, 1896 to 1918. And there, there's a grave right there with my last name on it. Don't believe we are related to them. But it's cool just because they have our last name. Looks like J.N. Petty died October 10th, 1916, at age 52. Says AMOS in 19 days. Oh, I'm sorry, eight months, I believe, maybe. I'm not really sure what that stands for. Miss J.N. Petty, February 19th, 1866, July 31st, 1943. in the sky. I can see that. I'm not really sure if y'all can. 
But it's it's a nice bright blue day out here. Yesterday we went to West Hill and it was pouring rain and storming and everything. But today it's nice and bright blue. James P. Hembry, January 7th, 1838 to May 7th, 1920. May 7th is actually a day after my birthday. May, uh, May 6th is my birthday. That, I believe that's a kid. Yeah, it is. Cannot, it looks like William Orville. Not really, cannot really see that last name too well. But it says, son of J.M. Uh, Emphrey, I believe. Born September 13th, 1909. And died September, I believe that's the 16th, 1909. So that looks like that child or that boy was only three days old, which is sad. I'm gonna go over here to my great-great-grandpa's grave, if I can find it right over here as I was saying before there's more graves right over here that's what I was um, intending to there's graves right down the hill right there I'll go visit over there in just a moment But right here is my great great grandpa's grave. Pick this up for him. He's a U.S. veteran, as you can tell. Try not to get my shadow in it too, so y'all can actually see the grave. But it says Lawson W. Ellis, Georgia Private Company C, 11th Regiment, Georgia Infantry, Confederate States Army. August 10th, 1835 to March 30th, 1922. And that is my great-great-grandpa and my dad's great-grandpa. As I was saying before, I, um, we actually did a video. We both did a video over him. So I'll link that in a card above. But there's a lot of older graves. around this area of the cemetery. There's a World War I veteran, Robert Jackson Dunn, I believe. U.S. Army, World War I, 1901 to 1980. There's a World War II veteran, Colvard F. Dill, PFC, U.S. Army, World War II, 1926 to 1978. There's another World War II veteran. Gordon Lee Dill, TEC, yeah, TEC 5, U.S. Army, World War II, October 20th, 1920 to May 25th, 
pretty nice view over here. There's some more um, graves of the Dills here, which is their last name. William Arnold Dill, July 5th, 1941 to September 9th, 1972. It's kind of hard to see the camera because the sun's glaring on it. Mary Dillback Dill, November 15th, 1920 to August 30th, 2017. William Bentley Dill, September 14th, 1918 to September 22nd, 1984. Not really able to read that too well. It looks like it, it the person was aged 56 years old. I believe that's what it says right there. Not not really able to read it too well. WM Hill, sorry, 18, 19, 1859. Sorry, to August 14th, 1911. like a rock that has a heart carved into it. That's pretty neat. So I've all, I'm not, I haven't always like really been interested fully in cemeteries completely, but now that I make videos and stuff it interests me quite a bit more but one thing that always has interested me in cemeteries like ever since I was born was the dates on the graves not necessarily like newer dates this looks like a baby right here yep age four years old Arthur uh, no, Martha, I'm sorry. Martha, that's the name, I believe. Cannot really um, see out anything else. 
besides Martha and age four years old. It's always sad to see a kid's grief like that, especially at a really young age, such as four. Just like my uncle, well, my, um, my dad's brother, Anthony, he, I, um, I never met my dad's brother, Anthony, and my dad never did either, because my dad's brother, Anthony, he was born, and he died. I believe he had the umbil umbilical cord wrapped around his neck, which caused his death, but he's um, buried at Center Valley Cemetery. My dad has a video over that, so... If you um, if you want to go check that video, I'll definitely go to my dad's channel and check out the grave of his brother and the grave of my of my uncle. I've never met him, and my dad was never able to meet him because he died five years before my dad was born, and he's buried at Center Valley Cemetery. We've done a few videos over there. It looks like this person was a trucker. Ed, I'm not really confident of saying that middle name. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. But Ed Dunn, April 16th, 1936 to February 9th, 2003. But as I was um, saying before, I started talking about my dad's brother. Uh, one thing that's always interested me was the dates on the grave. And as I said, it's not necessarily like the new dates, like 2022, 2023, stuff like that. It's interested me like the 1700s, the 1800s, stuff like that. Because that's, it's like decades ago, decades ago, I'm sorry. Like hundreds and two hundreds of years ago. And that's interested me because those people and those bodies have been there forever. And they, um, when they was alive, they experienced a new time period that we have not ever seen. And they lived in a different time of the world. And everything was different. And that's always interested me because they've seen stuff and been through stuff that we never have. And then they've been in that certain cemetery, that certain place ever since they died. And people nowadays are in that same place or the same cemetery that they are. So that just kind of shows that no matter how long ago or how new something is, that people can come together even after death, like they're buried in the same place. And that's always interested me, like the old old times I'm just kind of rambling not necessarily knowing what I'm saying but hopefully I understand old dates interested me or interests me like 1700s 1800s I just like it for some reason and I just like history But this is the other side of the cemetery, if y'all didn't already see that. Or notice that, at least. Right over there is where I came from. And that's where my dad is, I believe. I believe he's still doing some of the graves over there. But right there is the prayer trail that I was talking about. I'll go over there so y'all can read that sign. pretty hot out here today. I believe it's like 87, 90 degrees. It's been, I think today's like the hottest it's been so far. It's pretty toasty. I hope y'all can see that pretty good. The sun's glaring. Hampton, let that motorcycle pass. But it says Hampton, George W., 1878 to 1960, and Rosa, 1878 to 1966.
George Bruce Hampton, October 3rd, 1906 to June 9th, 1962. Right here is the prayer drill. Sumac P Church Prayer Drill. The, the P after Sumac is for Presbyterian. Dedicated to George Bryant for his hard work in building this trail. So, personally, I've actually never been down this trail. There's some nice artwork and stuff here. But, there's always a first for something, so I'm going to go ahead and go down it for you guys. But I just, wanted to, I just want y'all to know, if I see a snake or see a bear or something, I will take off running. And the camera will be shaky, so. Because I don't mess with snakes. But this is just a nice. Oh, my bad. I've seen a squirrel. Kind of startled me but this is just a nice place to come down walk relax pray this is a good if you haven't been saved already by jesus christ well that's a big spider web this is a good place to come do so it's a good place to come to to get closer to god because that's something that we all need to do because even if it don't feel like it the time is coming near that God is coming back and he will step out on that cloud. So if you haven't done so already, I definitely think you should get saved and follow in his word and start reading the Bible. Because even if you feel like you nice rocks right there because even if you feel that your relationship with god is strong enough trust me it can always be stronger you can always talk to god more you can always be closer you can always read the bible more there's so much more that you can do because the only way to enter the kingdom of heaven is through him and i don't see why you would not want to enter the kingdom of heaven because peace, joy, happiness, fulfillment, righteousness. I don't see why that's something people does not want to feel and see. Because, to be honest, I sweat a lot and I don't like hot. And I especially don't want to go to hell and burn for eternity. Because that's, that's too hot. That's not good. So I want to be in a place full of happiness, full of peace, love. So I'm going to go to heaven. But if y'all haven't already, definitely open up the, your Bible. And if you don't have one, go get one. Ask a friend for one and get saved. Because it's the easiest thing to start doing. To start talking to God. Just talk to him like your friend. I'm not really sure how far and where this trail goes, but I guess we'll find out together. The Lord heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalms 147, verse three. And if you need to hear some verses, I got two verses for you. First of them, is John 3 16 for God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son 
forever who believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Saying that God gave his only son for your sins. He sent his son to die on the cross for you guys and for your sins. And then he rose three days later and entered the kingdom of heaven with his father. And that just shows how much love he has for you. He gave his only son to die on the cross for your sins. And the second one is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. No matter what you think is possible, you can do it through Christ because he will help you hit and he will give you strength. I'm not really sure where this really goes. And I don't want to go too far into the woods by myself. Okay, I just made it back up the trail. But I... Sorry, trying to catch my breath here. But um, walking down that trail, I just felt um, leaded to share that, to um, spread and share a little bit of the gospel. Because even if just one person hears it and that one person changes their ways and gets saved and turns and turns to God and, get their, and gives, um, gives their life for God, then that means I did my job. That means I shared it enough that I was able to help to help get somebody to find God. And that's even if just one person heard it and was able to find God, then that feels like a thousand people to me. Because I don't want nobody to burn in hell. I want people to be saved. I want people to go to heaven. And that's what um, truly matters to me. So I just hope if you're not saved already, definitely do so. But that was a pretty nice, that was a pretty nice trail. You go down, just relax. Made me listen to a little bit of music. Pray, you know. Just nice and peaceful. Not really too sure where my dad went. So I go ahead and go find him. But I hope y'all are enjoying the video so far. So if you are so far, definitely leave a like on it. And also subscribe below for more content like this and comment down below more things that you want to see. Because I do stuff like this all the time. I do walkthroughs. I do ghost tube app sessions. I do Confederate stuff. I do a lot of stuff on here. So subscribe below and turn on that bell notification. So you get notified every time I post a new video. So you never miss anything. But I'm going to go ahead and find my dad real quick. This is the grave of Thad T. Hill. Um. Uh, he was actually struck by a lightning. He was a farmer, and in 1919, he was working in his field when he got struck by a lightning and unfortunately killed Thad T. May 15th, 19, 1874, I'm sorry, to June 25th, 1918. And this is his wife, Maggie C. Hill, October 8th, 1879, to January 27th, 1971. So actually a story about him besides him actually getting struck by a lightning. So he was actually buried, I believe, somewhere over there. But his wife um, did not like the spot that he's buried in. So she actually moved him right over here. And now they are buried next to each other right here. But that's just a little story about that D. Hill. And James Still, I believe that's what his name is. The one I was talking about earlier in this video. The one that um, died by getting hit by a tree. Me and my dad could actually not find his grave at all. Like, we looked at so many graves, we could not find it. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to, to visit his grave today. So, I'm sorry about that. But he was actually hit by a tree, I believe. I believe that's how the story is. And he was actually, unfortunately, killed by the tree. But if we are ever able to find it, I will post a video about it. But today we are not able to find it, unfortunately. 
but I will, if we do find it, like I said, we will post a video about it. But I think I'm going to end this video right here. I hope you all enjoyed this video today and this little walkthrough of Sumac Cumberland Presbyterian Church Cemetery and also the prayer trail. I hope you all enjoyed that as well. And I hope some of y'all needed that message that I was able to spread today. But I, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. If y'all enjoyed this today, make sure to leave a like on it. And also subscribe for more content like this. And comment down below more things that you want to see. Because I do a lot of stuff. Like walkthroughs like I did today. Ghost tube app sessions. Later at stuff like I said before. Just a lot of stuff. So definitely go check out more of my videos if you haven't already. But thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.